Hi guys, today we're doing a review on the Lego Daily Bugle set. The new one, not the old one. Okay, so we're going to go 4x4 four four section by section. And then all the way up to the top. Alright, so uh, let's start on the first floor. Alright, so this is the first floor of the bugle. Alright, so first we're going to do from the outside to the inside. I, I took all of this off so that way... I could get to it. So first we're gonna start off with the new stand. So it says no crime thanks to Spider Menace. It has like a counter, some glass, maybe Lego wants to pretend there's some newspapers in there. It says new stand, comics, magazines, and postcards. As you can see, there's a postcard that says New York. There's a there's a postcard that says I brick New York, meaning I love New York, but it's a red Lego brick because this is Lego. And then there's Statue of Liberty, and it says NYC, New York City. And then we see Wilson, we see Business Fisk, which is Wilson Fisk, a.k.a. the Kingpin. You probably know him from Into the Spider-Verse. I know him from the comics, because I read the comics, so. Anyways, all right, so we have a few potted plants. Nothing too special, but it's pretty, still pretty cool. A fire hydrant, but it's black, so it's it should be red because, I mean, kids probably know fire hydrants being red, but I guess it's more of an adult set. We have the Daily Bugle set right here. We have a bugle, and then this is actually a sliding door, even though it doesn't work too well, especially because you have to activate it from the inside, and to do that, you're going to have to... You know, and then this is for like if you wanted to put a minifigure right here. Oh, once that, once I go over the minifigures at the end by the end of the video, then that's 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 one will that's one I'll show that off. And then yeah, then inside we have a TV that that's a just just end. A vampire has been spotted on the subway, which is definitely a representation to Morbius, especially now he's getting his new. Marvel movie, even though there's been a lot of delays and stuff. Well, now they finally, they finally have him. Um, I feel like, I feel like Lego actually should make a more piece right here. We have, like, a Coke machine down here. I could, I could actually take this out. Like a little Coke machine or something like that. And it says, and right here it says, Web Juice. That's a funny reference. And then it just connects to this little platform right here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. And then uh, if you turn it, turn this around right here, you can kind of notice that there's like a like there's a bunch of cracks in the wall. Well, that's actually because this can be taken out and put in and put back in because it's really cool. Um, same same as some of the other exploding walls they've been set. And then it all then it always comes with this like hole piece. The reason for that is we so that way it can connect to other modular buildings. We have the rat from Avengers Endgame, which is responsible for killing Thanos. I thought that's pretty cool. Just stick them right there. And then over here on this side of the set, we oh actually there's, there's an electric box too, which is probably a reference to Electro, you know, from the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Anyways, so anyways, so right here we have a backpack, which is definitely a reference to the PS4 game when Peter goes around collecting his old backpacks, you know, so that's pretty cool. Nice representation. We have an exit, do not block, with a Green Goblin sticker, and it says Eddie was here, and Eddie Brock is actually um, Venom, um, is actually Venom. And then, and then we have a bunch of trash cans that's inside. I put some of the extra pieces in here too, but there's like a moldy hot dog in there, I guess. Right, let's uh, close that up. It's, I mean, it's green, so I'm just I'm thinking it's moldy. I don't, I don't know what an original hot dog looks like. Anyways, up here we have a little bird on the vent. Pretty cool. There's one later in the set. I don't know what, I'm not exactly sure what that is. 
a bunch of boxes. I mean, they didn't say to put anything in it, but I just put some extra pieces in it because I don't know what to do with them. Anyways, an air conditioner on the back of here too, the top of this thing. And that's it for the first floor. Well, not exactly though. All right, so in here we see um, we see a seat and it says no crime thanks to spider man -ish. again. Another print and then if we take this TV off so we could see a bit better the inside, I'll just leave it on, it's fine. Um, now we see there's a chair right there. There's a wind, there's a, there's a little glass, there's a glass, um, like a glass thing in there. On the wall it says Spider-Man, Threat or Menace. And then, and then on the second one it says for Lego Man First Walks the Moon. And then the number one paper for the number one building. And then we have some chairs, um, I guess like this swivel attraction. Gwen Stacy's supposed to sit here. And then there's handcuffs. I guess this is like security. Then there's an elevator back there. And that's it for the first floor. Let's move on to the second. All right, guys, so this is the second floor. We're moving up by one. All right, so we're gonna start from here. You have a little Venom symbiote right here. You know, in a water bucket. A Venom symbiote, it's in a water bucket. Like it's like Venom's popping out. Uh, we have a, a chair right here, have a coffee, some, a, um, a laptop, a computer back here. This is a reference to Daredevil, which says, Law Times, Mac Murdoch went big lawsuit. Matt Murdoch is off, obviously devil, a Daredevil from No Way Home. Spoiler no. warning, I know. Um, and then we also have a couple of TVs up here that you can move around. Rhino escapes from the zoo. I thought that was pretty funny. Obviously, a reference to Rhino. Um, yeah, Spider-Man's um, uh, identity revealed. Spider-Man. Hold on, what? Spider-Man finally unmasked. Just a joke. There's uh, there's Times Square. There's Spider-Man No More. Spider-Man No More is obviously a reference to Spider-Man Two. And when he throws away a suit in the crack in the trash, Doc Ock's still at large. Thought that was pretty funny. An elevator, a water machine, which is actually pretty cool. Um, there's a beer bottle, I guess. No one better be drinking on a job. Uh, there's another chair back there. There says No Crime Thanks to Spider-Man. It's again. And, and then there's actually a lamp right here, uh, right, right here. And then I don't know what, what's on the other side. Let's see. There's, uh, I can't really see. No, just, just another computer. All right. Anyways, and then on here, which is just like a, a slide in, if you want to put that, let's put that back in, you know. That part keeps coming off. All right, so on here this says this says earlier today breaking and breaking news villains promise to stop being bad guys. Can they be trusted? Probably not. Um, and then we say the Daily Bugle News with J. John Jameson. Just the facts. Um, clone Epony. Um, clone Ep Epony out of control. We have Dr. Kirk Connors, which is obviously the lizard, Scarlet Spider, which actually came in a Lego set back in 2016 with the bridge battle set. I really wish he came in this one, but that would be 26 minifigures, and I don't think Lego can do that. All right, moving on to the next floor. Oh, I forgot to show you these, this fire escape. This is pretty cool. Anyways, on to the next floor. All right, before we get into the fourth, I meant the third floor, first, we're going to take a look at this now this is the green goblins glider now i've seen people build this and they were like i built this but i still don't know how this works and that's kind of how i feel like the, the, the goblins glider is just bursting through the wall and that looks very very complicated to build and then you're supposed to put green, green goblin on here you can actually take the glider off all the way but we'll, we'll get into that later all right, and then right here, 
um, there's like a copy machine. Like if you put a piece of paper down, you could print it out. Copy, copy machine. You have a spider up here, pretty big spider. It's actually the same one in the Sanctum Workshop. The No Way Home set I reviewed a long time ago. Not too long ago, but we're gonna have a spider web up here. An elevator back there, uh, a pizza box and a camera sitting on here. These are actual drawers you could pull out. A bunch of newspapers, um, some boxes. And uh, on this side, it's actually blocking the entryway. Maybe Spider-Man or Peter Parker doesn't want J. Jonah Jameson to see that he has a Spider-Man picture on the wall. And there's a post-it note. And then, there's actually, and then this is a telephone right here. Pretty cool. Then this Spider-Man, and then you're supposed to put Spider-Man here to recreate the Spider-Man meme. I'll put a picture on this side of the screen. So it's supposed to recreate the Spider-Man meme. And that's really it for this floor. It's actually way shorter, I don't know why. Because on the back of here, it's like a little entryway. Like if you wanna put a minifigure, except if you did go back here, you would probably come through and trip on those papers. So yeah. There's a little light up here. I forgot to show you. It's also down here. You probably saw it, but... All right, next floor. All right, guys. Fourth floor and final floor. Okay, so these right here are, are poles. They're supposed to be poles going up. And then, um... Um, so, yeah. And then we're supposed to put that in right here. I took the wall out so that way we could see it, of course. So, right here, this needs to be... I always think this is wrong. Oh, this needs to be, oh, I see what's, this needs to be attached, this needs to be attached to it, but it's, okay, there, okay, now it is right, <laughs> okay, right, let's put that in, put that keyboard back in, and also, it, oh my gosh, why is it doing this to me? Okay, this, this, this table right here is very, 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 um, very, very fragile. This this thing is very fragile. It's very sensitive. Oh my gosh. Okay, can this thing just go in? Okay, I'm just going to leave it like this. But anyways, it says Mist Call E. Brock, which is definitely Eddie Brock, meaning Venom. And then we see a TV right here. But if you notice that this is actually the same TV right here. Look, it has Scarlet Spider in the corner. It's literally the exact same TV or the exact same channel. Right here, this says on 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 the side of this, it says Peter Parker, you're fired. Um, on this on this, you you can't see it because it's the other side, but that's why. We see some trophies back there, um, like some Infinity Gems. I don't know what that is. Reward for photos of Spider-Man magazine, and and then a coffee pot. And then if we go, and then we have a spider buggy that you can actually take off. It's just connected to the spinner thing. And then at the very, very top, we see the Daily Bugle logo. And we're supposed to put Firestar here. And then, um, and then there's like a bunch of satellites and stuff. Water tower. They should do the simple water tower build that they did in the Infinity War Sanctum set from 2018. Um, uh, goblins over here. I'll put them back over there. And, uh. Yeah, let's do the minifigures. Okay, guys, now to look at the minifigures. So let's start with Miles. Take off his web piece. Basic web. We always see, so we won't look at it too much. All right, so guys, this is Miles um, from this set. He also came in the Miles Morales mech set, which is pretty cool. Um, I gotta say, he is an upgrade compared to the original version. Something I did notice, though, is, um, let me take, this will be easier if I just show you like this. Yeah, I'm just gonna flip the hood around. And, uh, and, I mean, this is weird. But, this is red, right? This is red right here. Here, let me just take this off completely. So, this is red, but this is gray and, and if even if we look at the the torso print that's gray they have gray webbing and look at the face that's gray webbing but on this face red webbing
spider. The, I mean, the spiders are the same. I just, I just now, I just now realize that. So it's kind of an upgrade, an unnecessary, an unnecessary one. All right, now let's look at Spider Gwen. I actually forgot which set she came in. I think she came in the, uh, the the one that that first introduced Mysterio. But anyways, um, great printing. It's the exact same hood Miles has. Um, I don't know why she wears a hood. But anyways, not really an interesting character. Neither is this one right here. This is Bernie the cab driver. That's just what it says on the box. Um, very, very non-interesting character. Alright, now things are looking up. We have Spider-Ham. Now, he came in... He came in one set that featured Iron Spider, Spider-Man, the Venomosaurus, and, that, and, and, and the Venomosaurus, and of course, Spider-Ham. Now, I gotta admit, he does remind me of the Looney Tunes, so if I, so if I just, like, move Sylvester back, move Sylvester back, if, and if I just put him right here, he fits in the Looney Tunes so well because they all have molded shaped heads. So yeah, anyways, so yeah, Spider-Ham, let's look at Blade, you probably haven't heard of this guy, he's um, he's a great superhero, one of my favorites from the comics, I, 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 I there is a movie of him, but I just haven't seen it, now these swords are actually very, very, it's like, they're, they're, they're very, it's like a Lego, th these are a scam, like, they're just the same old plastic swords we always see. The figure is great, but the these plastic swords and they don't even stay on; they keep on wobbling. And the great torso detailing; it also reflects a bit, not on the camera, but in real life. It, like the torso print reflects on the back sword pack, of course. Okay, all right. Okay, Firestar. Now she's actually supposed to go up there, but I just decided to just have her like this, so. I left her so that way I could show y'all red. This is, I think, um, this hair has come in multiple places, but in this color, this is, I think, is the only time you can get it. Right. Now we have some of the employees of, um, now we have some of the employees of the Daily Bugle. Not really, not really anything special, just some all employees. And one of my favorite characters, and not not even just from the set, like really my favorite Marvel character in general, is the Punisher. And his other gun just fell out. His other gun just fell out. All right, but my pun, I I like this guy. He's really cool. Um, if we turn him around, then we have a weird smirk expression. But on on this side, he has like a band aid, and he's all mad. And nice Punisher printing. I like that. I like his sh I like his shoes um, with with the white printing on bottom and black printing on top. I thought that is pretty cool. And his guns keep falling out, so that's him. Next we have Black Cat. Now I really don't know what to say about this figure because I don't know. I never really understood. I never really understood Black Cat in the comics or in the movies. Um, it's funny, the diamond piece came, they, they came with like three diamond pieces, but there's only supposed to be two. There's, um, the real piece and an extra piece, but for some reason it came with three, so I didn't really make any sense. Next we have one of my favorite characters from the set, Gwen Stacy. So, uh, yeah. Okay, hey Jonah Jameson. You know, the Daily Bugle expert. And he comes with the pen from Lego Friends. You know, those cheap plastic mini dolls. Yeah, yeah. It could, this pen comes from there. And it's, and it's really oversized, if you come to think of it. I don't know why Lego didn't just make an entire new mold. But they use the oversized dumb pens. Um, so if we turn the hair around, um, we see that he actually has a web face. Which is funny, this is like a reference to the first Spider-Man movie. So yeah. So yeah, that, that is J. Jonah Jameson. Uh, put that aside.
Okay, now let's get start from this row. So here we have Aunt May or Miss Butterworth. And uh and she has a plate of uh cookies, I guess. And then it's really just uh just a really basic figure. No, actually no, he did I think we got one in the Spider-Man Mecha Battle with Venom and Spider-Man. I think that's another way, but but in this outfit it's specific. It's specific. Alright, so now I have the Green Goblin. This is another one of my favorite characters from this set. Not not my favorite characters in general, but from the set. I really like this for you because it comes with a 3D satchel and it's not just like printed on there. And uh, this would be great for Norman Osborn for the um, Spider-Man No Way Home since like it's like a tattered suit. suit. And then his, his, his head, his, like this thing's been on here so long that every time I move it, his head moves a little bit too. That's how stiff this thing is. I put him aside. We have Peter Parker. Uh, another, another great figure of the set. Kind of looks like Marty McFly in Lego. So that's, that's pretty cool. And then we have some, uh, and then we have, we have three, we have two more employees. Um, this one I think is Betty Brant, that character in the Tobey Maguire trilogy or in the comics, of course. And then a normal civilian of the Daily Bugle. Then we have, um, then we have, I think Miss Grant. She's she's supposed to run the newsstand over there. Pretty cool. I don't. I'm not exactly sure why she comes with like a bag. Maybe because she delivers also. Pretty cool. Roxy will say this for last. Here we have Daredevil right here. And then um, this ears are basically Black Panther's ears, um, except they're in red because this is Daredevil. And uh, we have Daredevil's logo on here, Daredevil's pants. Um, we have a, uh, we have, um, we have two red sticks, of course, and two red sticks, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, so, he's actually a really cool figure, I really like him, not my favorite, of course, my favorite from this set was probably Punisher or Gwen, uh, so that's, that's, um, so yeah, alright, so let's put this aside, uh, let's start off with Doc Ock on this row, through the final figures of the set, alright, so Doc Ock has these weird tendril-like arms that break apart very easily, I'm, I'm trying not to break them myself, um, he has a great design except for one problem, um, in 2021, they released a set with this exact figure for $20, because the normal mechs just like by themselves they're like ten, so when it comes with two, that's probably like twenty. And that is that, and it and it came with this exact figure. So that torso print isn't as rare as this figure is. So, uh, so if we move the hair back, we can we can we turn the hair around. Oh crud! The arms fell off. You will also see a smiling grin, which is actually very very creepy. Very, very creepy. That's creepier than Norman Osborn. I meant, um, Willem Dafoe on set in No Way Home. <laughs> As we heard from the reviews, like, the cast was so freaked out of him. Anyways, so now we have Carnage. And Carnage, one of my favorite symbiotes. Um, he's actually a way better villain than Riot. You know, in, like, the Venom movie. In, in the Venom 2 post credit scene. I can't I can't even put this back on. And nothing special. He was in he was he's been in set since twenty nineteen, so not very special. He he first came out in this set on the screen, but but like the original version that actually had arm printing came out in this set on the screen. So put that there we have Venom. Venom a great great representation of him. Of course, he was also in set since 2019, so nothing special. I actually have another figure of Carnage. If you want me to do like a ranking or a reference of all these characters, then I can because there's going to be multiple videos of this set and I need ideas. So we have Venom. Oh no, I don't even know why I'm just tossing them. 
we have Mysterio um, with his fishbowl head and his green or purple cape. I always loved this purple cape ever since this came out. Like I had the movie version, so I didn't so I didn't really necessarily get the purple cape, but I always love this purple cape. I don't know why. And then if we and then we have the big, the greatest Sandman himself. Now he does come on this like little base. You can actually take this off. So let's just do so. There's great articulation in this base. Very, very cool. I can't, I don't even know if I can get him off. Okay, there we go. And another thing, he doesn't actually stick on as well as I need him to. Can, can I, like, hold on, let me, give me, give me a second. And that's exactly how he's supposed to stick on because it's basically like minifigure feet. So you kind of just slide it on and then we'll put him to the side. And the greatest character in this set, by far my number one favorite in this set, of course, we have Spider-Man himself. And I love the arm printing. It even gives us the dual molded boots. It actually makes the figure feel complete. Like, they didn't, they didn't leave out on anything. We finally get a great, great representation of Spider-Man. Because, like, 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 back in, like, back when Lego started making these dual molded feet back in 2019, he always had, like, blue legs. Like, completely blue legs. Well, now, once they released this version, he kept, he, um, now that they, um, released this version, he kept on having blue legs in the expensive sets instead of having the red on bottom, blue on top legs. And, but he did have arm printing, but it just didn't make the figure feel complete, so. Anyways, that is my review on the Lego Daily Bugle. Um, my name is Tony. I edit this video. Oh, wait. Forgot to show you the taxi. If we lift this up, we have Venom's little tendril thing in there. Uh, let's see. Where is Bernie at? Bernie the cab driver. We just set him down. In here, set him down in here. Okay, he's in there like so, and uh, pretty nice cab. Actually, how about we put um, here? We'll put like here, we'll put another one of my favorite Lego minifigures of this set. put this character in the set. Stop. Here, I want to get out of the car.